What up, YouTube? This is Rob Beast. And I'm Dick G. And this is Rhode Island Tattoo Company's League of Legends Bad Tattoo Roast. With this, we had a bunch of people send us a really um, awesome amount of really good tattoos that had to do with this game. And we were really impressed with the artists and the different people that were out there. So with this one, it's kind of the opposite. <laughs> this is a couple of tattoos that people sent us that, from what I'm guessing, are pretty bad. So, I mean, let's just jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this first one. I don't know. I don't know a lot of these characters yet. We're still learning that stuff, so bear with us on this. But if you know the character, drop the comment and let us know who it is. I know that guy's in the shower. Yeah, I mean, I think you should get back in there and start scrubbing this tattoo. See if you can get that off. That I, don't, is I don't know the character, but that thing's got some giant horns coming one out of his forehead and one coming out of his shoulder. You know, it, it's kind of like, looks like, you know, you know when we sketch a freehand design on somebody, if we don't use a stencil, we use markers and whatever, it almost looks like that, but this is clearly not that. He's not in the studio, he's not somewhere getting tattooed, like this is the tattoo, and that's unfortunate. Shit, sure I got a free hand job with that. Oh one. my god, this is a rough one for sure. I don't even know what it is. Like, it's just, there's so, we got bat wings. It's so Green wings, Lantern. <laughs> I, I quit reading comics, ever. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. I don't even know what that is, man. It's... That's a lot of black. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is dark. I mean, it, the concept looks cool. I was going to say, this is probably, this is a really nice this concept. This reminds me of Disney Fantasia, for whatever reason. Like when Mickey Mouse had all was in the thing, throwing all those the spells and stuff around. That's what that reminds me of. That's just way too much black. And where's the black at the bottom? This is a rib cage piece. You can see this dude's titty right there. Uh, <laughs> and uh, if you sat through this on your ribs, then, you know, you're amazing because this is a rough area to get that much tattoo work done. It's just very blurry. There's yeah. so much black that it, there's no room for the tattoo to breathe. And when there's no black at the bottom, like... Yeah, it's definitely a mess. And I feel like, you know, two, three, four, five years, this tattoo is just going to be a smear this, of nastiness. <laughs> this would have been better as a painting, not as a tattoo. Oh, for sure. Like, I, I honestly don't even know who the character... You can't see the character at all, really. He just blends right into this dragon. Like, it just looks like he's got a fluffy tail, a short tail coming out of his butt. Yeah, yeah it's definitely not something that whoever's wearing this should be proud of. Yeah, I would definitely see laser removal ASAP. Oh, that's one way to rep your clan, right? <laughs> Just put it right there. Boom, League of Legends. I love it. I mean, it's not a necessarily a bad tattoo. I, I think it's a poor tattoo choice. Yeah, you know, uh, it looks like it was executed all right. I mean, it, it's solid. It definitely ain't gonna be covered. <laughs> really like that game forever. I love how he has no other tattoos. There's no other tattoos visible anyway. That's and a that's a lost bet right there. Yeah, he's like, I hate League of Legends, but I lost a bet, and yeah. I want to get this right here and wear it forever. Is really the the of look like that in the League of Legends logo? Like just kind of falling off? I don't know. We're we'll gonna have to look that up. And see. I'm definitely gonna check that out because that doesn't look right. It's like. It's League Legends, and then after that was done, he was like, oh shit, you forgot the up. <laughs> add that in there. <laughs> it's like he dropped two SpaghettiOs on there. <laughs> well, this is, a, this, is a, this is an interesting one for sure. If this is you, I hope you have other tattoos. I hope you have other League of Legends tattoos as well. Something, man. That's, that just looks like somebody took a sticker and slapped it on his stomach. So this is a character? Oh. Twitch TV. Oh, so this is obviously somebody who games. That's their tattoo. He wants you to follow his gaming. Hopefully your gaming is better than that tattoo you got, man. Yeah, that spider is kind of hurting. It's... All right, so when you do stuff like this, when you have to layer in different colors of black, tones of black and grays, you got to make something really, really black and then dull it down as you pull it forward so that way the black sits in the back. But then when you add the shading, the shading should be super light so that way it looks like it's sitting on. Everything is almost there except for the actual technical application. It just looks like a blob with legs, like, I don't even know, it's, you can tell it's like a Black Widow robot thing, but it just doesn't look yeah, right. Yeah, I, I want to know what this is, obviously this is a part of the game, so, I, I almost imagine this being some kind of, like, weapon that you get as a character that, like, you send out to, like, you know, scout or, you know, hurt yeah, people, you know. Either that or it's like, you know, like, dungeon or something, you gotta fight them. Right, right, you're a villain, yeah, some yeah, kind of, like, creature you gotta it's fight probably, It's probably like a nest of them, like, there's a big boss and those are probably the little ones yeah. or something. We want to know about this, yeah, let us know. It's cool, but... I mean, the technical aspect of it is really, really bad. It's just going to be a blur. But you can follow him on Twitch. I'm going to follow him and ask him why. <laughs> why you go to blur, bro? 
All right, the pitch is blurry and it's backwards. Yeah, you never should really put a character jumping. Uh, uh, I guess. I mean, I mean it kind of looks like a stripper holding the pole sideways <laughs> or a microphone. It's like a singer with a microphone. But it's just I don't know, man. You it's all right. So when you do black like this, you really shouldn't have it all like. It's a bad photo, obviously you can tell because it's blurry, it's hard to read. The lettering's tiny, so if it actually looks really good, you really can't tell from the photo. So the photo's not really doing it justice, but the tattoo is the wrong way. It's not technically bad, there's a few wonky lines and stuff, but... From what we can see. It looks like literally a fox wearing a Halloween costume and just... Holding a, holding a coat rack. Yeah, I don't know. What, I'm guessing it's supposed to be a staff or a paintbrush, or maybe it's a barbecue brush. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then there's a T. I don't know what that is. If that's a coin, it's or like a power up. Or a bing. Or a trademark to cut it off. Right. Oh, it's a scout code. Oh, uh, wow. Another. Oh, it's that dude. Oh, it is. Oh, it is the same. Maybe it's him. You think it's the same dude? I, I, I mean, it could be. Maybe he just <laughs> one up it. <laughs> I can't even read this. I don't. That's right. That's their actual graffiti logo. Ah, okay. That all right. So the league one, if that is him that has that on his chest, oh, on the, like the lower part right here, yeah. that was okay except for the of. That looks like complete trash. That looks like literally a butthole and some lettering. And I know their logo is graffiti style, but like, if well, you're gonna do it, do it the way it's meant to be. Like, do it with the colors, do it the way it's supposed to, so that way it looks good. And do it clean, man. Go to a real artist. This yeah. doesn't all look like it was done. He's back in the bathroom. Yeah. This guy loves taking bathroom photos. Yeah, th this definitely looks like a downgrade from the artist who did the original one. I would be surprised if it's the same guy, um, or at least if he's sober in one and probably high in the other one or whatnot. <laughs> uh, it definitely doesn't look like the same artist. Not that, you know, they're Just really rolling, man. But hey, at least he stepped up his game and he got another tattoo. He got something on He better be getting sponsored by League of Legends on this because, I mean, this dude's watching him actually be a horrible player. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah, if this is you, we want to know your Twitch. We want to watch you play. <laughs> I heard it's a hard game, man. I just can't. Wow. Too really is that going to be it? No, we got one more. Oh, boy. What is that definitely looks like a dick with wings going into a butthole. That looks like the thing on uh, Call of Duty World War II up against the house on... Uh, uh, Gustav, yep. the house, the things that you could be with prop hunt, oh, that yeah, little yeah, totem yeah. thing. Yep. That's what that looks like. I, I know it's like a weapon or something that has to do with the game. It's a weapon, all right. That's a, but like, but that is a butthole right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't care who this is. I know this is some kind of character or whatnot, but that's a butthole tattoo. That is, that is a very bad, out of all of them. This is my favorite. This, this is, is my probably one tattoo. of the worst tattoos, especially just because like, <laughs> the, the line works trash. I mean, it's not even connected. Yeah, this is this is definitely the one of the worst tattoos. And I that, think this one and the first one are probably the worst man, too. But this one is the best. This thing's got messed up lines, blowouts, and a butthole. And a butthole. And I mean, <laughs> yeah, you win. Uh, yeah. Worst tattoo goes to you. I want to know where this is. It probably a shoulder, maybe. Shoulder or hip, maybe. You can't really tell because the picture's so. Wherever close. it is, I hope it's hideable or coverable at this point. Yeah, you can cover that with some underwear. <laughs> Coming out with a sticker too. This is a rough one for sure. So thanks for watching this roast. We uh, we want to talk about something else now that's going to be pretty fun. So as everyone knows, my name's Rob Beast. One of my favorite YouTubers is Mr. Beast. With that said, what we want to do is have a little fun with you guys. So if you guys basically make this video have what, 10,000 likes? 10,000 likes is fair, I think. 10,000 likes on this video, you know, watch time, everything. I will get a Mr. Beast tattoo. Now, if you guys get 20,000 likes on this video. This is the good part. I will let you guys pick where this tattoo is going to go out of the spaces that I have left. Because obviously I'm pretty covered. But I'll designate some spots and I'll let you guys pick it. So obviously this would be the tattoo, the Mr. Beast logo. With that said... I want you guys to spam his Twitter, spam his accounts and let him know that we're going to do this because he is one of my favorite YouTubers. He does a lot of stuff for the community. He's playing a bunch of trees. The guy's doing a lot of stuff. He hands out a lot of money to a lot of people. He's a very good YouTuber to watch. He does and a lot of things for good causes. Yeah, sure. he's, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. So let it happen, you know. Get this video to go up there. I'll get the tattoo. Dick's going to do it. We're going to video it. You guys can see me act like a baby. Nah. <laughs> Rob doesn't get tattooed very often, so this is a good chance for everybody to watch this. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, thanks everyone for watching, liking, subscribing, and let's see where this video goes.